hello everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Keisha you can find me over at KeishaJaggers.com that link is in the description box with links to all of my social media definitely follow along on Facebook and on Instagram if you're new to my channel welcome I make mommy and baby videos food hauls um, vlogs of all sorts travel vlogs and all kinds of videos including favorites which we're talking about in this video I have quite a collection from beauty to household to random things to baby stuff that I'm excited to be sharing with you. I haven't made a favorites video in some time and I'm excited to talk about everything I have out here today. So I'm just going to jump right into it. You know some of my videos are long winded. It takes me a minute. So I'm going to go right into the beauty things. So let's talk about the skincare line that I've been using here recently. And this is not sponsored. This is the second, the third on a couple of things time I purchased this and I've really been enjoying it. And it is the Simple Truth Organic line, the Lavender Orange. And those are two of my most favorite scents. I wasn't sure how I would feel about mixing them. It smells amazing. Now this is the Simple Organic Organic, Simple Truth Organic Facial Cream Cleanser and it's a gentle cleanser and I feel like the older I get the more general products I need and I've been using this twice a day and I love it and I also have the toner and this is the second time I purchased this and I think it feels so amazing and refreshing. I love the smell. It's organic, it's it's very simple, it's very, which is obviously in the name, it's very gentle on my skin, and I have really been loving that as well. The, I purchased the Simple Truth Moisturizer in the Lavender Orange three times now. Um, it's only two fluid ounces, but I love it. And um, it seems to moisturize really well. It goes on thick, but it rubs right in, and it seems to do a really good job. Again, this is the third one I bought, and I also had the Simple Truth Rose Clay Mask. I use this twice a week, at the beginning of the week and at the end of the week, and I love it. It exfoliates, it cleans, it detoxifies, and it's really good for um, sensitive skin. It does tighten a little bit, and it tingles as well, and... Um, I love those things about it so this is the line I've been using it's not sponsored they're not paying me to talk about them but I've really been enjoying the simple truth um, organic line and I find those at my local grocery store for around eight dollars a piece now you know I quit going and getting my nails done I hate wasting time there um, I hate wasting money as well and most of the time my nails are pretty much nude but the colors that I've been enjoying are from the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel line. And I have five different colors and it's a two-step process, but it's super easy. So I have the Graffiti, which is on my nails right now. Really love it. This is one of my favorites. We have the Shockwave, which is this beautiful pink. The Black EO, which I love as well, even for my nails, but most of the time this goes on my toenails. I have the Rhapsody Red. Kind of goes. And I have the Got or Get Mod in the white, which I like on my toes as well. And then the Step 2, which is like the gel, the gel top coat. And so it really does hold up well, especially on my feet. I feel like if I'm going to polish my nails, I want something. I want anything that's not going to chip. I hate taking the time to do it. I'm not the best at painting nails. Don't really care. I just like a little color sometimes. And I feel like the colors that I picked from, you know, give me a good variety. The white, the red, the black, and the pink and the gray. Plenty of color for me. And most of the time, you know, I wear a lot of nudes and I have a lot of OPIs as well. But here lately, the Miracle Gel has been my favorite. Now, my favorite, one of my favorite mascaras that, this, I don't know how many times I've replaced this. This is the Bare, Mineral, Bare Minerals Lash Domination. One of my favorites. This is empty. I did replace it with the, the Revlon, uh, the L'Oreal Voluminous. That's it. And it's an oldie but goodie, but this is a true favorite of mine. 
Um, I set it out to talk about it because it's one of the best mascaras I've ever used. It makes my lashes thick and it holds a curl really well and I just love it. I love it. It volumizes really good. It's a favorite. Now, Brittany got me the Tangled Blooms um, lotion and the Fragrance Mist from Victoria's Secret. And it's such a beautiful smell. I love it. Every time I wear it, I'm complimented on it. I just put a few little squirts on um, here and there. And you can tell I haven't used a ton, but it doesn't take a ton for me. I don't, I'm prone to migraines. And scents will, heavy scents will give me migraines. So I just go with something light. And this is super light. I love the fragrance lotion as well. And again, I'm complimented every time I wear it, and it just smells so fresh, clean, and summer-like. I love it. Another one of my favorites, which is an oldie but goodie, and I've talked about it forever, and I'm going to keep talking about it, is just some pure coconut oil. Now, I use this for a lot of things, but I always use it um, to remove my makeup before cleansing my face. Um, and I love coconut oil. I don't think I could live without it. I wouldn't want to live without it. And it's always going to be a favorite. I, I adore coconut oil. Now, let's move into something kind of random. And let me make room to get it over here. This is, and I hope I'm saying this right, the, the Napio um, Kneading Massager. And here it is. Now, this was sent to me, and I should have a discount code below. Um, and I might not have it the minute the video goes live. I've been trying to contact them and I haven't gotten a response, but I'm going to keep trying. Um, they sent me two of these and I absolutely love this. And what it does is you plug it in, the power is here, you have um, the speed you want it to be, you have which direction you want it to be, it's warming as well if you want it to be, and it's just so nice. It needs up and down your lower back, your arms go in this part like this and you can run this all up and down your back it actually crawls as it needs and you can run it up into the top of your head it is just amazing and I have had some back problems since I was serving up Cracker Barrel um, and it's really been a lifesaver for me Everybody that has used this, and we've had quite a few people test it out, from Ryan to Laura to Abigail to Jackson, and they all love it. It is a super hit. It's, you know, you can travel with it really easy. I've used it on my calf muscles as well, and it's got these, these three balls on each side, right here and right here, and I, it's two balls, I'm sorry. I love it. And it's worked so well. Um, it's that it, it can do your upper back, your mid back, your lower back, your thighs and your legs. It can do your waist if you turn it around and put uh, this part on your belly. And it can also just do your shoulders and arms depending on you know which way you position it. So I love it. Um, it's definitely a favorite. I'll try to have more below um, about it. I hate that they're not answering my emails, and sometimes that happens. Um, but they sent me two of them and we have just totally loved it. So I really appreciate them um, sending it and it plugs in and um, it's, just, it's just amazing. It feels amazing. And I use it a lot of mornings because, you know, sometimes I sleep really weird and my, my upper shoulders and my neck really feel that, you know, tightness. And that works out all the kinks you can hear I can hear the knots being ran over and massaged and I can feel them as well so just loving that another item I've been loving here lately is this wash that I got when I was working at Cracker Barrel it is um, like a space watch it actually goes with the theme I was talking about this before with the space theme they got going on so I got this book and this watch and this planner and we'll talk about that in a minute but I absolutely adore this watch I wear it all the time I just took it off for the video but if you look around like in your surroundings and see who really wears a watch not too many people do and I'd like a nicer watch eventually um, 
but I love this one and it's definitely been a favorite of mine and it's been convenient as well I don't always have my phone on me I know that might be hard to believe but I don't and I look at the watch more than what I would you know expect sometimes um, because we all look at our phones and very few people wear watches so it's just kind of insane now for the household favorite this month um, you know this is a bigger house to clean than the one bedroom apartment I haven't even gotten on a cleaning routine schedule yet which I'm gonna be working on that and I'll share it with you guys in the future but I've been doing my weekly cleaning I usually do that on Mondays and there's a lot to do so for dusting what's made it so easy and I've talked about this before is the February glove it fits right on and it's got a little place for your thumb and all I do is take my pledge um, cleaner or dust spray and this is the orange clean which I like I like the scent a lot just like with my facial cleanser I love the scent of orange blossoms and I just spray my little glove and I go dusting and this makes the job so much easier um, you can pop this right in your washer and I believe I found it at Walmart I'll try to link it below or something very similar but I love it and um, I usually wash it about once a week and I've had it for a while it's held up really nicely and it just does a great job even on ceiling fans um, it's easy to stop the fan get up and do one side of the blade and then the other and it just adheres the dust um, right to it and it's just made life a little less complicated when it comes to dusting I use it all the time and love it another one of my favorites this past month has been this and I, I don't even know who makes it has been this purse I have just found it so fun it's got a strap and handles um, my cousin gave it to me and she said she found it at Walmart for about $15 and I just thought it was so summery and so fun I actually have a planner that matches it in the blue nautical stripes and it's just it's been a favorite and I'll probably carry it for another month or two before switching out but it's the perfect size most of the time I unless we're like we're going to the zoo or something like that I still don't really carry a diaper bag just for errands for AJ but I do need a bigger purse so I can put some treats down in it maybe a bottle or a sippy cup and a diaper and some wipes along with whatever I need and it just does the trick for everything um, and I love it Another household item, which I should have talked about before, that purse, and I'm sure many of you have heard about it, um, but I have broken a couple things around the house this month. It just is what it is this past month, and I got the original Gorilla, Gorilla Glue, and it works so well. It does, like, puff up, so you have to be careful of how much you use. But it's done the trick so well. It says it bonds with wood, stone, metal, ceramic, foam, glass, and more. And it really does do the trick. So um, one of my little teapots that I just dropped um, trying to put up, the handle came off of it. I got it right back on with this. It just has been a lifesaver. And it lives in our junk drawer. And I'm so thankful we have it. And I just wanted to talk about it in case you haven't used it. Um, it's really really good just be careful of how much you use now for snacks I found a snack that I have just been loving it is the bark thin snacking chocolates this is dark chocolate pretzel it's amazing they're just these thin little pieces of chocolate bark to show you with pretzels and you know, I only need like a piece that big for like a chocolate craving, and this lasts me a long time. Um, they're just delicious. I found them at my local grocery store and been snacking on them for a while. Another thing um, that I'm not going to get into a lot of detail on, but I am going to tell you the planner that I shared with you just a little bit ago, this, the one that says I need space, definitely been a favorite. I love it it's been um, easy to use and nice and hopefully it will help get me back on track in a few different ways along with the notebook these are favorites of mine I love them I've already shared this in a different video I'm not sure when but I shared it 
and it's just got this layout. It's just got the horizontal layout and um, the mumps at the beginning, but I love it, and I've been using it. Okay, I think that is about it for my favorites, um, besides the TV shows, and there hasn't been a whole hell of a lot on TV that I have been enjoying. Um, the Kitchen Nightmares with Gordon Ramsay has been a show that Ryan and I both have been enjoying, and another show that I've been enjoying a lot that recently just came on is Castaways. Uh, I'm not sure what channel it's on. I'll try to link it below, but it's where a group of people are stranded on some islands that are within swimming range, kind of, of each other. It's a lot of room to, it's a lot of open water to have to swim, but it's possible. It's already happened a few times with a few other people that have already, you know, swam across the different islands. And some of them are taking boats. They've been dropped off. The longest who survives wins, basically. And they do have some luggage. Everybody had luggage, but they dropped it off in different places. And so other people are finding their luggage and their journals and they're getting to know a person that they're not even with that's out there with them. And I just find the whole show fascinating and wish I could do something like that. I love it. And um, yeah, it's been the only couple of shows that I've really been enjoying. There just hasn't been a lot on. I love the view, everybody knows that, but the new season I don't think starts till September 4th, 4th, 4th or 14th, I think it's the 4th. Okay, so for some favorites for AJ, um, one I just have to talk about the Happy Baby Superfood Puffs. In our home, AJ probably wouldn't do well without puffs. He absolutely loves them. They're a lifesaver when you're out and about. And even with that big purse, I'll drop one of these in and we'll just take off out the door. This one is sweet potato and carrot. And this one is purple carrot and blueberry. And he adores them. He likes the other puffs. Um, we have a strawberry apple. We have one that's a banana flavor. I don't remember all the flavors. But we have a lot of puffs. AJ adores them. And um, they're not big. They're basically, it says for a crawling baby. AJ is definitely crawling at this point. It's got vitamin B12 and C and E and antioxidants. And it's made with whole grains without corn syrup. He loves them and they are definitely a favorite and they have saved us so many times. While we've been at restaurants waiting for our food, while we've been in the car, while we've been out and about shopping and he's getting a little bit fussy. These have saved the day. I'm sure my baby, I'm just convinced he probably could live on puffs at this point and his bottles of course. Um, another thing AJ absolutely loves is Elmo. That probably will be the theme of his first birthday, um, which will be at the end of November. Um, and he loves this teething ring. I said in one of my last vlogs that he watches the Cartoon Network, and I don't really know why I said that. We don't have cable. What I mean, I call all the cartoon channels the Cartoon Network, but it's KET, it's PBS. And he definitely loves Sesame Street. It's a favorite for him, Elmo. He loves and laughs at and dances to and giggles and talks to. He loves Elmo. This teething ring has been great. I pop it in the freezer. His front tooth, one of them, is almost down, and you can see where the other one is kind of breaking through. He's been quite fussy over that um, and running fevers, but this teething ring is a favorite of his and a favorite of ours because it helps him, and of course, he loves Elmo. My mom, and I shared this some of his books that um, are favorites of mine in one of those vlogs recently, but if you didn't see it, I shared the 12 board books by Disney for Disney for babies. And, you know, a lot of AJ's books we have put up. He is almost nine months old. By the time this video goes live, he will be nine months old. And, um, you know, he tear books up, and I don't want him to do that. But these, these he can open up on his own. It's just got a magnetic closure. He can pull them out, which he does. And like I said, there's 12. It's a bath for Tigger, a 100 acre walk, a hungry Pooh Bear, explore, count with Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, 100 acre friends, a visit from Pooh, the honey pot, 
Was it a Woozle, Where's Eeyore's Tale, and A Rainy Day are the little books. And these are nice. I mean, I read them to him as well. But he can go through these kind of on his own and look at the pictures and slobber on them and bite on them. And it's not going to tear them up. So he can have these books just on his own with his toys and they are definitely favorites. Speaking of my mom, she is on her way up here for a visit and I heard she got him some new outfits and I can't wait to share those with you. So keep an eye out in the next vlog or vlogs coming up um, to see those. But this little book set is definitely a favorite of AJ's. He plays with it all the time. He loves reading. We read all the time to him. Um, and Jackson reads to him. I do. Ryan does. And he also plays on his own with a lot of his board books. And those are just the perfect size. So I love them. That was my favorites for this past month of August. I hope you enjoyed them. Let me know if you can't find anything. I'll link what I can below. And I will see you in the next video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to get subscribed. It's free. Hit the notification bell. You'll be notified whenever I put up a new video. I was hoping to get this video up sooner. But my computer died um, during a Windows update. Well, the internet died. My computer didn't die. It had to be plugged in. But my internet went out because we were having storms. And we're having storms again today, which is one of the reasons I'm inside. But the computer internet went out. And it was in the middle of an update. And it totally shut down my computer. I couldn't do anything. I had to save all my stuff onto a external hard drive. And then I had to reinstall Windows. It was a gigantic pain. It cost me a lot of time when it comes to videos. Sorry it took a minute to get this one up. I'll have mo more videos up very, very soon. And I really appreciate you watching subscribing and getting to know us better. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!